Goland Neovim. If you are looking for an IDE, well, you're in the right place. We are going to put these both head to head. We're going to figure out which one is the best and we're going to jump straight in. Let's do it. All right, we're looking at Goland now. So it's specialized for IDE. So you get deep code understanding. You also get a seamless debugging, testing workflows and JetBrains platform. Right, so what is this? So Goland passes and understands Go and code at a fundamental level. This enables intelligent assistance that respects Go's conventions. You can set breakpoints with a click and inspect variables while running. You could also run and debug tests with visual feedback on your coverage and it's built on a mature foundation shared with IntelliJ, IDEA and WebStorm. This is awesome. Having a look at some of its key features, it does offer uh, smart code completion. This is awesome. It understands um, your types and your functions and it has a go aware suggestion operation. It configures complex debugging scenarios with ease and it has a bunch of awesome built-in tools. It's got terminal and version control integrations which streamlines your workflows and it's got a high level of code quality. So inspections identify potential issues before they can actually cause any problems. The integrations with linters like Golint and Golancy Lint, those are fantastic. Let's have a look at their development experience. So their refactoring tools. You can rename symbols across your entire code base with confidence. You can extract methods, variables, and interfaces with automatic updates. It also has a navigation feature. You can jump directly to declarations, implementations, as well as usages. Its structure view provides a visual map of your code organization as a whole. You can actually also connect to databases directly from the IDE for backend development. You can also write and execute queries with completion and syntax highlighting. Docker and Kubernetes integration also simplifies containerized developments. Uh, you can deploy as well as debug applications in a more realistic environment. Okay, NeoVim, let's have a look at what they have to offer. So first of all, it's built on Vim's powerful editing model with modern improvements. Its redesigned plugin system enables deeper integrations and it works in a terminal while offering optional GUI front ends. It's optimized for speed, even with hundreds of files open. NeoVim has three editing modes. Their normal insert and visual modes enable efficient text manipulation. It has a Lua configuration, so full configurations as well as plugin development in a modern Lua language. And it has zero blocking operations. So you can actually execute um, and this ensures that your editor never actually freezes. The last thing over here is their rich plugin ecosystem so they have literally thousands of plugins for languages tools workflows you name it they have probably got one you can map any command to any key combination for maximum efficiency and you can run commands without even leaving your editor environment your themes and your status line plugins also create the perfect work workspace so this is also great so there we go with so many options available it's often difficult to make a decision and um, stick to the decision my advice always is to try all of your options even if it is for a short amount of time just to see what actually works for you with a more hands-on approach and then make a decision thereafter just remember that we're all individuals and we all have individual needs if this was really helpful drop us a like and we'll see you next time